Gladys would love these. Hello? Whew, they're empty. Bruno? Bruno Martinez? You! You were the guy who packed me in there! You could have at least given me a magazine! Four years with nothing to read but this damn mug! What are you doing here? And if you were headed this way, why didn't you offer me a lift? Ah! Wait, I'm getting out of here! This world's for suckers! That's the road we came in on. Nothing out there but snow and a perfectly good pair of sunglasses. Manny! What's wrong? Go up there and see! Hey, where is everybody? Waiting area two. How long do they have to wait in there? Until they have tickets. They were issued tickets on the number nine, and they don't have them now. The punishment for selling double-end tickets is very severe. But they didn't sell their tickets. Their tickets were stolen. By who? Hector Le Mans stole them to sell to rich people who don't deserve them. That might be them now. Let's see just what they deserve. That train. Your destiny cannot be purchased. I don't understand. Why has everyone been detained? Given a ticket, a soul may not sell it. They didn't sell their tickets. Someone else is trying to. Bring the tickets. That is all. The tickets are in El Maro. How can I get there quickly? These rails are already there. Well, thanks for the help. The gate opens. The gate closes. It does not help. Hey, how'd you get free? I was born free, Boatnik. Nobody gave me no ticket, so nobody can take it away. So what are you pacing around here for? Trying to unwind a little bit. All those years circling in one direction. Gotta even out my life in this world before I go on to the next, you know? Well, that ought to do her. Goodbye, Chapito. Happy trails, Captain. And thanks for setting me straight back there in the drink. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under some seaweed. No, I'm gonna let it shine. I could march around in it like Chibito, but I think a better way to even out my life would be to go get those tickets. actually do it. I could walk out of this world right now and not look back, but I can't. I can't do it. I'm not leaving without the people I promised to save. I get the feeling that operating that switch is out of my powers. Recently, I was visited by a bird with a human head. Do you know such a bird, Manuel Calavera? No. How do you know my... He knew you, and for you he left this note.
I know what you're up to. I've been watching. Stay there. I'm coming to sprout you myself. Yours truly, Hector Le Mans. Híjole. What's happening? How many days has this grand demon gone without driving? Well, we've been hiking for months. Month? Months? Months? Oh, then the noble one will surely die. But... Gladys, I'm sorry. Manny! Why didn't you tell me you were sick? Couldn't stop. Have to save everyone. Are you in much pain, my friend? Only because I let you down, Manny. What can I get you? With anything help? I need to race to fly like, like the old days, Manny. In the bone wagon. But the bone wagon's not here, Karnal. Maybe I'll see her on the other side. Can't we make a new hot rod? Those days are done, Manny. <laughs> No more hot ra- Hey, what's that red thing? The gondola? Mm, sweet decal work. Listen, fellas, somebody, somebody get a pen. There it is, my final work. It could save me if you have the right, <coughs> the right, <coughs> Ew. What fuel, Gladys? Gladys! It looks like blueprints for a rocket sled. They're brilliant. Hey, how about a gondola ride, Gremlins? He's too big. The gondola is too slow. My joints don't need any oiling right now. How eerie. They lock up their tools just like Gladys. Your mother doesn't work here. Since nobody listened to my last warning about keeping this refrigerator clean, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to lock it until some of you grow up. Signed, the facilities department. I hate it when people leave their crusty mugs out in the break room. It's full of rags. It was a good idea to have a clean rag around. This better not stay in my pocket. was in that mug. Something that powerful could fuel a... A rocket. rocket! If only we had more! Well, I could score you a couple of truckloads if you're interested. We shoot you now like an arrow into the wind. May you pierce the heart of the wind itself and drink the blood of flight. Speed is the food of the great Glottis. Speed bring you life! Come back to us someday! Hey, look! 
ready to Rubacaba! Manny? Manny? Manny, where are you? Manny, I'm frightened! <laughs> What a town! Remember the glory days, Manny? Long gone, my friend. There's nothing here for us now. Except maybe our old car. Dios mio! She's been booby-trapped. By who? Who? I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. Don't panic. Yeah! Looks like Domino left his calling card. But how? I saw him torn to shreds. He must have done this on his last trip through town. <laughs> Maintenance has gotten pretty lax around here, apparently. Manuel Calavera? <laughs> well, what happened to the limbo? Hate to tell you, Velasco, but she went down at the Pearl. But we found a new ship, the SS La Mancha, and managed to... The La Mancha? My old rusty bucket. Where is she? Oh, well, we traded her in Puerto Zapato for a team of sled dogs. That does it. I'm out of this stinking mob town. But... Thanks for finding my baby, Manny. Puerto Zapato, here I come. Mob town? Maybe I'll just finish this for him. I'd drink it, but I'd probably get the SS Lumbago stuck in my throat. Vera, what are you doing here? I heard you went pow in Zapato, Daddy. Well, Hector Lamont's tried and missed. Now it's my turn. I'm headed to El Maro to put him out of business. Manny, that place has changed. You don't know what you're getting into. I'd better come with you. Just give me a minute to get ready. Okay, but if you hear a loud explosion anytime soon, the trip's off. I would, but I hate sucking gelatin straight from the tap. That's what the lumbago diorama needed. Fake ocean water.
It's a uh, lumbago lemonade. Try it. Mmm. Perkly little aperitif, actually. <laughs> yes, siree. Not bad, tall. <laughs> Tell me where you got that right now! Olivia's kitchen. Lumbago! in a hurry. Don't worry. This won't take long. Oh, my stomach don't stretch like it used to. Oh, Gladys. I'm not setting foot down there. The slightest bump could start those dominoes tumbling. You really should get back in case it blows. I'm with you guys till the end. You know that. Disturb his grumpy little Your dreams. mother will love it. Quit whining. There can't be too much in here. I better save it. Doesn't hurt. So what is that stuff they pack canned hams in anyway? Good show, my friend. You wouldn't happen to have a breath mint on you, I suppose. I bet I could keep it down now that it's cold. Just let me get across first, okay? I'd better disarm her first. Well, here goes nothing. Looks like Hector's taking over the whole town. He hasn't had much resistance. There's only one small group who oppose him, and they live out on the fringes of the city. Places like this, you mean? I hope they're not hurting Gladys. Ha. Huh. Shows what you know about this group. Their leader is a great man who... Manuel Calavera, we meet again. I see you have found what you were looking for. How fortunate for you to arrive now just as we too are about to achieve success. Our army has grown, and right now our top agents are in Hector's weapons lab, about to close in on the enemy in his own den. I couldn't have done it without you, Manuel. <laughs> it was a triumph! Stand back. There's only one thing to do. <gasps> Thank you, sir! You have saved me! But more than that, you have enabled me to continue to serve the movement. What did you say about a trap? Hector uncovered our agent in his weapons lab. No. You idiot Bowsley. Your new lab assistant is a spy. Haven't you ever heard of a background check? What? 
No time to explain. Now I'll have to take matters into my own hands. Take me with you. I've longed to be of service to your cause for years. Calling all cars, calling all cars. Manuel, is everything okay? Uh, the, just testing the equipment, Sal. Salvador, maybe you should shut that thing off so we can talk. I bet the agent in this photo is the poor guy that Hector just shot. Come here, little manny. Ow! Hey, must be a little bitchy. This camera's showing nothing but flowers. Must be another fallen agent. This camera sprouted as well. That's three LSA casualties in one night. Any messages for me? No, nope. call stopped coming for you the day you left. They're still sending you that lingerie catalog, though. Better save this part from sprouting. Okay, here's the plan. I need a disguise so I can get close to Hector. And a gun, so we'll have something to talk about when I get there. If you figure out that part, I'll go find out where he is. His casino tower is directly above these headquarters. All right, meet me there. Volunteers quickly for dangerous work. She could be very useful to the cause. As far as I'm concerned, she is the cause. Okay, don't bite. This is a note. You like notes, remember? Well, here goes nothing. Go, baby! Por la revolución! for me? I know what you're up to. I've been watching. I'm coming to sprout you myself. George truly, Hector Lemans. I knew it! I knew he was out to get me the whole time! But you'll never find my secret right out at door. You're going to have to find yourself another Flores! to sleep whatever you are. How about this one? Anyone down here? Monsters? Again? Bowsley's probably in that maze, but I'd never be able to find him without, well, without something 
really helpful. Figure out some way to disguise this pretty face before I hit the streets. It's not like Johnny Thunder lets just anybody in his review. No. I mean, being allowed to wear the Johnny Thunder makeup is an honor. Yes. A privilege. Yes. So I said to her, you give me that 10% discount or I'm taking my business elsewhere. You said that? Well, oh yes, I was mad, you know. Of course, as soon as I save up enough money for a double-end ticket, I'm out of here. What? You can't just buy a double N. Well, I know somebody who knows somebody who knows uh, Hector Lamas. Wow, you know everybody. And then what? So then I says, Oh, are you here for the Thunderboy tryouts? Yes, I am. Oh, that's too bad. Because we just got the last two parts. Maybe next season. <laughs> <laughs> Show business coffee. I am a busy man. Oh, coffee, great. About time we got a PA around here. Hey, kid, keep it black, keep it coming, all right? Did you do that for? I didn't. I... You melted my makeup. I can't go on like this. I took you under my wing, and this is how you pay me back. No, no, it's not like that. This is your lucky day. We got an opening and you're the newest Thunderboy in the Johnny Thunder Review. Yes, I've been working for this moment all my life. Then sit on down, we gotta start your makeup. Now don't go too far, you never know what time is showtime around here. I think that would be disrespectful. I think he'd be happy to know his body was serving the cause like this. This snowmaker is huge, but the grinder part looks handheld. Aha, uh -huh. it's a bone chipper now. Nope, once you grind bone, you can't go back to fake snow. This elevator goes up straight to the penthouse suite of Hector Lamans. Mr. Lamans, he only do the business with the very select elite clientele. I'm select, and I'm very elite. You look like you work in a meat locker to me, pal. These are my regular clothes. Well, when you get your regular clothes, I'll give you the regular treatment. 
Out of my way. I'm in show business. What show? You can police? <laughs> Look, I just want you to understand that I'm totally sympathetic to the extremely intense power trip you're on, but... Beat it! Or should I say, mush! <laughs> hey, weren't you once a tube switcher repairman? Yeah, but they took out the whole tube system. It kept getting jammed. Not my fault. Now, finally, I am free to pursue my one true desire. Elevator operation? Yes. Johnny Thunder isn't going to be happy about this. Maybe Mr. Thunder needs to spend more money on wardrobe. Hey. What's going on under that raincoat? I don't know. What's going on under that makeup? Agent Calavera? You? Didn't Salvador chop you in half early this evening? Yes, which has given me this glorious opportunity to serve the cause by gathering funds for the LSA while stealing from my arch enemy at the same time. What exactly are you doing with these slot machines? I stick myself inside like a finger down the throat of Hector Limons himself. And I make the machine regurgitate the wealth it has devoured. Yeah. Can you crack any machine? None of these unholy temples is safe from the LSA. Mira! Hola. No drinks for me, thanks. Buenos dias. Back off, sleaze ball, or my husband here will bust your jaw. Hey, these work without money. Maybe Hector's not all that bad. I knew it. They're all fixed. Hola. No drinks for me, thanks. Mechi, it's me. Manny? That's some costume. Here, help me get Mr. High Roller here into this sheet so we can get out of here. Hey, is that you, young lady? I'll get you. I'm going to punt this twerp the first chance I get. Oh. oh, for crying out loud. Special assignment just in from oh. Salvador. Young lady. Not funny. Crack that machine and leave the change right uh. away. Yes, sir! Hey! God. My system worked. I knew it. I told you. That's great. Now let's go so you can buy me a drink at the Romano. I'll meet you at the train station with the tickets. There won't be one for me, so you'll have to go back by yourself. I'll tell that gatekeeper everything. He has to help us. Come, my lovely. I have another infallible system I'd like to demonstrate. Ow. in the shoulders, but at least it doesn't reek of sled dog. I'm not going up there unarmed. I'm not putting those clothes back on. They stink. Oh, ha! 
flakes of bone are sprouting when they hit the puddle and turning into baby tears. something really helpful. Okay, I think I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light. Hey, what's that? That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us! Listen, Bowsley, I'm not here to hurt you. Listen, Bowsley, I'm here to hurt you. Hector, is that you? It's not Hector, it's Manny Calavera. It's not Hector, it's Manny Calavera come to sprout ya. You better back off, man. I mean it, I'm not feeling too rosy. Look, I need a gun to put Hector out of business. Look, I need a gun. I need Hector. We're in business! I mean it, I'm not feeling too rosy! Listen, I really need that gun. I'm having... I feel... I'm thinking I better... Things are gonna change around here! Yeah, man! Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? I love plants, is that so wrong? Plants are beautiful! Listen, I really need that gun. You people! You think plants are death? Plants are life! You all! You are all death! You are all the same! If that people were plants, the reaped. world would be a better place! I don't want to mess up my blade. I could make everybody into plants! I've got enough juice right here to turn the world green! I've got half a mind to... i got half a mind! I didn't say anything of the kind. Where Can't do you reach. get off? I'm not touching any of these human How remains. What can I do to get you to take me seriously? Can't reach. I not touch this human remains. Same. I'm having. I feel. Hey. Do you know what you just did? You just opened Pandora's box! You get out of here right now or I'll let you have it! I'll... Hey, 
there, stranger. Can I help you? Um... Uh... Uh, I'm looking for something in a 9mm. Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. There you go. Would you like some baby's bread to go with that? Sure. All right, here you go. You have a great day now. This is with Hector Lamans. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamans, eh? Hockey dokey. Then answer me this one simple question. Ha, huh, okay. If you were a cat, how many of you could Hector Lamans fit in his stomach? Three. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I guess you don't know Hector Lamans like I know Hector Lamans. All right. Let's go, buddy. Ha. Huh. Okay, what is Hector Lamanza's favorite prime number? Eight. Yeah, well, that was an easy one. Too bad, I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamanza. Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lemont's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm your travel agent. Oh, I have a travel agent already. But he's miles away mopping floors in an automat, so I suppose the position is open. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Eh, uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double-end tickets? This price seems much more than double. It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho! Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. The real question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? Well, they cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? What exactly are you saving your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. Well, if you need more help with your decision, I'll be around. Yes, well, thank you. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> I knew you could change him. What? Who are you? I'm the Grim. Ah! Oh, I wouldn't talk to him right now. He's mad at us because we won't buy his tickets. So, are we ready for our ride on the big train? Well... Do you have any other questions I might be able to help you with? We're just still so concerned about the price of these tickets. Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... This makeup breathes about as much as vulcanized rubber. Yes, but it brings out your strong jaw. Can't raise my arms in this suit. Well, let's just hope no one pulls a gun on you tonight, huh? I just
just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself. So, well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent! The little lady changed your mind, eh? No, actually it was your agent over there. I, 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 of course, he's one of my best! <laughs> well, come on in, let's chat, shall we? Ah, still got it. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last couple of years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. This could be your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr... My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> oh, but Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the compost pile. I... Friends now? I bet I could get over to the other roof on the leg of this sign, but the leg's pointed too far down and it looks like Hector blew the motor. Cracked, but still stronger than me. Too steep to climb. Well, so much for my third arm. Sprout that. Well, it was going to happen eventually.
Get in, quick! We were supposed to have coverage back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. Hola, Manuel. Time for you to swing, Daddy-o. Let's see you walk. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. What? You know, you really have bad taste in men. No, I have a taste for really bad men. There's a difference. Look, tiptoe through the tulips already. me. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double-end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour because that idiot Bowsley ran off with all their fast acting Sproutella. The slow stuff will sprout you, but it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> Manny, where are you going? You've got some time, you know, before you have to leave. <laughs> Get it? Leave! <laughs> Gracias, Toto Santos. Come on, shake it for me, baby. One of you must be mine. Salvador? Manuel, listen carefully. There's a gun in the trunk of this car, but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse. Find it! Right. And tell Leva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone. But when I bite this explosive tooth, the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target, but me as well. Your target? What are you- Hey, get out of there! Farewell, my friend! What were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only this. Viva la revolucion! <laughs> he 
he's fine right where he is. Hey, my scythe. Well, what do you know? Sal had a ticket all along. It's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. It's not doing anything now. Scythe. I like to keep. This must be the key to Salvador's trunk. Yes, lots of ammo. Freeze, Hector. Yeah, you heard me. Doesn't sound good.
You can count them if you want. They're all here. How about yours? The company gave me one on the other end. Sort of a retirement present. And, uh, demons ride free, right? Aw, oh, Manny, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assumed I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Come here, give me a hug. <laughs> you were the best boss. I have had. Bye. <laughs> Manny? Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. So you might as well enjoy the trip. <laughs> <laughs>